Here and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Friday afternoon. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We're up to 95,000. 90, I, I can't believe it. 95,000 subscribers. Thank you, each and every one of you guys. I, I still can't believe it. I am so humbled. I remember when I got my first thousand, and that seems like a lifetime ago. And now that we're closing in on a hundred thousand, it really just makes me want to work that much harder. So the question now: the Cowboys are now at least above the salary cap, only by one point eight million dollars. They ended up getting themselves some flexibility by restructuring. Zach Martin, and they can go through, and they also can end up getting another seven next year if they want to. That's the way they basically have it set up. So it gives them some uh, wiggle room, so to speak. Now, the question is is this going to be where the Cowboys are just doing the bare minimum to get at least at, uh, you know, to the uh, cap number that they need, and that they can, they basically can take a break until whenever? From this point on, they don't have to do anything. We know Michael Gallup, you know, that that might be a possibility that they ask him to take a major pay cut and bring him back. You're going to end up basically paying him $13.8 million over the next two years if you hold on to him. And they may look at it and say, you know, if we can get you for $6 million this year and bring you back, then, you know, let's bring you back. That way, you know, we're going to pay that money anyway. Um, Zeke Elliott was re-signed by New England, um, so there's that. So Zeke Elliott won't be out there. And there are several running backs that are out there, and there's some um, people that believe that the Cowboys have a chance at Derrick Henry. We've heard people say that the Cowboys should be looking at Saquon. I still look at it and say, if I had to make a choice, I would probably go with Derrick Henry because, to me, he is more of a bruising between the tackles guy. Saquon is more like Tony Pollard. I think I would honestly re-sign Tony Pollard before I would end up spending and dropping a boatload of money on Saquon. That's just me. Now, Jeff Kavanaugh has kind of gone through and thinks there's smoke with Derrick Henry. He thinks that there's a chance. You know, it's kind of crazy because that just kind of scared the bejeebies out of me. Um, I've got the windows open. It's about 65 degrees, and the air's coming through, and it feels great. And with the windows closed, surprisingly, you don't really hear the train very much. And I opened up the back window there, and you just heard, or maybe you didn't hear it, but it was pretty loud. It sounded like it was literally coming through my house. Anyway, be that as it may, Derrick Henry first. Uh, some people believe that the Titans still may re-sign him, that they'll probably pull a Dallas Cowboys and lowball him and see if they can bring him back. And here's Eddie George. Now, you might remember the Cowboys when Eddie George left uh, the Titans. Um, he was signed by the Cowboys. And pe people got really, really excited about Eddie George coming through. But unfortunately, Eddie George was pretty much washed and didn't really bust a grape. But let's listen to his take on the possibility of Derrick Henry. So, Eddie, do you think Derek will leave the Tennessee Titans this year? Uh, you know, um, I think all signs are leading to that. Um, I, I don't really pay attention to it too much, but the fact that um, a new head coach is in there, um, they've already drafted uh, a back last year in Taji Spears, who is going to be the guy for um, uh, the Tennessee Titans. You know, it just depends on the market. I think they're going to, you know, probably lowball them in terms of pay. Um, and I think that's going to be the determining factor. And really, what, is it, what does Derrick Henry want to do moving forward? Uh, I think any place that you look on, I don't know if he's ever going to get back to that place where he is the featured back unless their injury occurs. So, you know, he has, he has, he, he, listen, Derrick had to put together a Hall of Fame uh, type of career, you know, um, in my opinion. And um, it really depends on what he wants and how he wants his legacy to to um, to finish out. Uh, personally, I think that he has more value as a Titan than any place else. Uh, but the, in this day and age where the NFL has gone and where it's going, you you got to take a chance on yourself. And I think Derek has 
um, more tread on the tire to produce more yards in the right system and the right the right opportunities for for anything else. So um, I, I don't I don't foresee him coming back to the Titans based off of the the speech and where it's trending. Um, and I, I think the Titans are going to you know uh, move going in another direction. All right, so thinks the Titans are going to go in another direction. The big question you have to ask, though, is, is Derrick Henry spent? And the Cowboys have a propensity of signing guys after their prime because they feel we can get, you know, a little bit of tread on the tires and we'll definitely get a cost-effective player. And the question would be is, is how much does Derrick Henry have left in the tank? And I can't tell you. I mean, I still looked at it and say he had 4.2 yards of carry last year. And that was with a team that was really in bad, bad shape. You know, you could look at that and say, well, 4.2, that's one of the lowest totals in his career. I, I agree with you on that. And if you're saying that about Derrick Henry, what does it say, you know, with Derrick Henry having almost 1,200 yards versus Saquon, who had under 1,000 and 3.9 yards to carry? Both of them had terrible teams that they were on. Both of them had terrible offensive lines. But Derrick Henry finished the season with 154 yards uh, the last game of the year and seemed to be still pretty strong, whereas Saquon has had a propensity of getting his big games early half of the season and then kind of tailing off as the season goes on. But the real question is, is, will the Cowboys actually do anything? They believe that they are one of the best drafting teams in the NFL and that they don't need to use free agency. We know Stephen Jones detests it. Now, if Zach Martin is the launching point for the Cowboys to do some other things, if they just go through and just restructure a couple of more, and even if it is, Dak, we're going to restructure you right now and we're going to get the long-term deal taken care of in August. You know, right now I think Dak Prescott – with the newness of having the baby, that the Cowboys are saying, listen, you know, football season is a grind. This is the perfect time for you to be spending time with your new family and everything else, the newness of it, before, you know, those stinky diapers start happening. You know, when you got a newborn baby, that poop doesn't stink. But then when you start getting that, you know, the, 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 the Gerber food, with, you know, the peas and all that kind of stuff, that you get the green poo, and that's when that stuff stinks, and that's when you don't want to be anywhere near the baby. You don't want to be anywhere near the baby. Um, trust me, you don't. Be that as it may, that Dak Prescott may be um, then ready to spend some time away from the new family and ready to really focus in on football. Um, the Cowboys, I don't expect to be doing more than re-signing their known players next week. I, I believe... You'll see him make a deal. And it may not even be that soon with Stephon Gilmore. It may be a wink and a nod to him. It's like, look, go ahead and get recovery some. We're going to bring you back and so on. Don't worry about it. We got it. Um, but some of the guys they're going to need to work on, some of them they're going to let go out the door, find a deal, bring it back to us, and we'll see where we go with that. But don't expect the Cowboys. And I would be 100% shocked. In fact, I would be pleasantly surprised if they ended up do uh, you know doing something big, I, I would really be surprised. I would love it, but I don't expect it. All right, good people. I hope you're having a great day. We will be, of course, keeping uh, up with the Joneses. And if we end up getting news that they've restructured anybody else or are doing anything else, we'll be sure to bring it to you here. I'm debating on live streaming all day long. On Monday for Free Agent Frenzy, just to keep up with all the news and stuff. And uh, fortunately, I got my new chair from Ewin. Oh my goodness, this chair is freaking incredible. Uh, heavy duty, and uh, they're on sale right now for 20% off. So definitely, I can sit here all day long. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, I appreciate you.